What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Next Gen Geek. I'm your host, Darius, and we have a lot to discuss in this video. Of course, the latest Transformers movie, Transformers Rise of the Beast, has officially released in theaters. And so far, it's been getting mixed reactions, mixed reviews, mostly negative. So I'm here to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions about this movie, as I recently just saw it last night. And uh, let's just say I did not walk away pretty happy. So with Transformers Rise of the Beast, Optimus Prime and the Autobots take on their biggest challenge yet. And when a new threat capable of destroying the entire planet emerges, they must team up with a powerful faction of Transformers known as the Maximals to save Earth. If you guys didn't know, Unicron is the villain of this movie. You have seen him quite a few times in the trailer, so that's not really spoiling it. And you have other uh, Decepticon or enemy enemies such as Scourge. And it's... Yeah, so let's just get right into this because... I liked Bumblebee a lot, and when I heard that this was a sequel, essentially, to Bumblebee, it left me intrigued, and I was actually somewhat looking forward to this movie. So, walking out of it, I left very underwhelmed, very... To me, this kind of reminded me of the old Transformers movies, really, where they were just okay, they were meh. Um, I think this movie could have been better. I think one of the strongest is really the soundtrack, considering it takes place in the early 90s, like 1994. Um, I think that is a strong suit of the movie. You know, you hear music from Wu-Tang, and I think that's very enjoyable, especially from people such as my dad, who lived during that era and that type of music, and etc. Um, Peter Cullen, Optimus Prime, obviously is great. There are... Let's start with the negatives. So one of the negatives, or at least some of the mixed and negative things I've had towards the movie, was really, I think, one, is one of the Autobots known as Mirage, voiced by Pete Davidson. Now, I'm used to Pete Davidson. I like his brand of humor. But to me, in this movie, it, it could feel like it was a bit much. Um, and it definitely felt like they were trying to make him sort of the backbone or have that reestablish like that new type of relationship between him and the main character Noah Davis that's played by Anthony uh Anthony Ramos and so I think that they were really trying to go that Bumblebee and Sam route back in the original one but it just didn't work for me there's moments where they're trying to do an emotional to hit hit you emotionally in the film but it just fell flat for me um, and again, coming out of this, I'm looking at my friend and I'm, I'm telling him that like, yo, I, I'd, I'd honestly rather have a full CG 3d animated movie of Transformers at this point. The human characters just haven't been interesting to me in the last couple of years. The only interesting character was really, or one I could connect with was really the character from Bumblebee. I liked her. Uh, I like her arc. I like her relationship with Bumblebee. Um, thoroughly enjoy that movie. I think the best Transformers movies, at least for me, has been Transformers 1, Transformers Dark of Moon, and Bumblebee. Now, I will say with Rise of Beast and where this falls for for me, for everyone else, I would say it's number four. I do like it more than last night. I do like it more than a few others because, I one of the, again, one of the strong points, and I want to touch upon this, are really the Maximals are really the 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 beast characters and I really did enjoy Optimal Prime. I really did enjoy Air Razor, voiced by Michelle Yo. Like that was I love Air Razor. I like that relationship and dy dynamic. There are things they've done with the humans that just I just I couldn't connect with and I wasn't um on board. Um but the Maximals and Optimal Prime Optimal Prime and Pr Optimal Primal and Air Razor, I really did like, and I really like to see a bit of that history. And I honestly wish we got more of that because I think that's one of the strongest suits. There is a emotional part that does hit for me, at least when it came to the Maximals and something happens between them. That I really did like. Dang, you know, I was like, dang, I kind of wish they didn't do that because it was like I was invested in the Maximals a bit more than. Pete Davidson's character a bit more than Anthony uh, Ramos's character. I definitely felt more engaged with that storyline compared to the other subplots and the other stories they were trying to interweave within the film. Um, again, I just left, especially towards the third act. I will say the third act 
fell a bit flat for me in certain areas. I think the action in the third in the third act was actually really good. I really did enjoy it. Um, there are some moments against visual effects wise, looks great across the board. On certain occasions, there are certain times where it does feel and look a bit green screeny. Um, but again, this movie just came across as pretty forgettable afterwards, to the point where it was just like. Because I was debating whether to do a review or not on this, um, but I wanted to at least give you guys a, give you guys my honest thoughts about this film. Because walking out, I was underwhelmed, and it wasn't necessarily underwhelmed as I had high expectations. But it's just like, again, considering Bumblebee was, I think, one of the best Transformer movies amongst the six, seven Transformer movies that's been out there. It's, I don't know. I I wanted it to be a bit more refreshing. Um, some of the dialogue felt stilted, felt overdone. Um, again, it's, it's hard to say a lot of good things other than I like the Maximals. I think some of the acting was strong across the board with some of the characters. Um, I think the Maximals really, for me, it carried the film a bit than I would have thought it did just because I think that storyline and what they were doing with it, with, with those characters were really interesting. I would have wanted to see more. Um, overall, would I recommend people to rush out to go see this movie? Honestly, no. I'd wait it out. Wait till it's on digital, on demand, something like that. Um, I had a fun time, but again, I wouldn't necessarily say it's great. Or even if it's really good. Or good. It was just, I think it's there. It's around, if you want to have a good time, potentially, go to a theater. Turn off your brain. Sure, this is, I think, that type of movie. Um, but overall, I for me, I was a bit disappointed because I just I wanted a bit more out of it. And I expected a bit more, or not really expected a bit more, but it's just they could have done more, and especially for a two-hour, 20-minute movie about, th th there's a lot they could have done more, I think. And it feels like they severely slacked in a lot of areas, both narratively, Occasionally action-wise. Some of the action, like I said, it looked great, but I think they could have gotten a bit more creative. I think one of, I want to say some of the action design, like I said, is great to see, but Michael Bay had a certain uh, look to his actions that, yes, some people may not have liked, especially with Explosion Galore, but there was a certain style with it that I did enjoy that this one just didn't necessarily have, have at least for me. Um, but yeah, like those are my overall thoughts. I wouldn't highly recommend to go see it right now, fresh out the theater. To be honest, I'd wait it out. But overall, I think, like I said, fun experience. If you want to go in, have a little some, little popcorn, turn off your brain. Sure, I will say the post credit, the mid. There isn't a post credit scene, but there's a mid credit scene, and I did not like it at all. As a fan and uh, of both of these of Transformers. And this other franchise, I was not a fan of what, and I'm not a fan of what they're potentially trying to set up. That's all I'm going to say, just because, you, you gotta, honestly, because I didn't like it that much, just letting you know, spoilers right here, I'm about to spoil what that mid-credit scene is, um, so you've been warned, so in three, two, one, after the movie, after the usual, all is saved, uh, essentially... Uh, Anthony Ramos' character Noah goes back, he's going to look for a job again, and he's confronted by this person, and at first you don't know, but then when you start hearing the person talking about, oh yeah, I know what you and your friends did, you're in Peru, all of that type of stuff, and the second he mentions, I have a global task force sort of thing that handles these type of threats or similar threats, my instant thought was G.I. Joe. And I was telling myself, please don't do G.I. Joe in Transformers. And come up to post in the mid credit scene, he hands him the business card. Uh, Noah flips it, and we see G.I. Joe. So they are potentially setting up a big crossover of Transformers and G.I. Joe. And personally, I am not a fan of that. I don't like that idea. Um... Because they're just two different franchises and the fact that they're trying to do a crossover between the two. And I know some people are going to say, oh, they're doing a cinematic universe. And it's like, well, well, the thing with Marvel and DC is that all those characters coexist with one another. Transformers and G.I. Joe do not. These are separate franchises and they're trying to 
like I said, I'm not a fan of them trying to do a crossover G.I. Joe, especially considering that G.I. Joe, they haven't even done much after Snake Eyes because they knew how Snake Eyes, you know, the the, the reception to, to that movie. So I'm not a fan of that at all. Um, but yeah, like I said, this movie, it was a big dud for me. I, I wanted more, I think, for two hours and 20 minutes. They could have done more, in my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, that's my review of Transformers Rise of the Beast. What did you guys think of this movie? I know it just came out. It's only Friday, June 9th, at least at the time of this recording. Um, let me know what you guys thought of Transformers Rise of the Beast. Did you enjoy it? Enjoy it? Did you not? If you did, what made you like it a lot? If you didn't, also let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.